Hello, friend, and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. Thank you for praying with me into these powerful prophetic words. Let's get to this word from our sister Deborah Lowe from Stafford, Virginia. A generation standing for difficult times. A generation that believes. A generation that believes my word. I have waited and looked and longed for people who would believe what I speak and walk with me. In each generation, I have had a few who took me at my word but waited for the whole generation to believe that everything I said was yes and amen. I have longed for those people to come forth. You have been birthed for this generation, and now you stand ready to walk and do exploits in my name. The fullness of the matter has not been seen, for I have anointed you with a fresh anointing for the time that you are living in. It will go beyond your understanding and comprehension if you just step over into the unknown with me. If you release those things from the past and pressed forward so that you will not be encumbered. The weight of this world, the weight of sin, the weight of everything around you that tries to hinder you from being exactly who I have called you to be will not hold any power. To open up and let the world see that I have created great men and women in their midst who shall go and do the work of their calling. I have called you to boldness, not to be afraid of the enemy. Yes, his voice is loud, but mine is greater, says the Spirit of grace and mercy. You will do mighty works unashamedly, unafraid, boldly declaring who I am. I know that you think you do not have the mouth to speak, but I have anointed you, and I will rest upon your lungs and your voice, and I will rest upon you, and know that you are never too old to carry the charge. I will anoint you from on high to do exactly what I appointed you to do. Before you were in your mother's womb, I knew you. I appointed you for this day, this moment. Great shall be your peace. Great shall be everything that I have anointed you to do. You shall walk and men shall say, Where has she been? Where has he been? He has been in the wilderness, and his great and mighty God has been forming and making him able to stand through difficult times. Yes, that is is you, I say, yes, that is you. See Psalms 119, 165, Daniel 1132, and Proverbs 28, 1 in your time with the Lord. Friend, will you pray with me into this word? Heavenly Father, I thank you that you have destined my friend and I to come on the scene right now, in this time. Lord, I thank you that we are the generation. Yes, we're standing for difficult times, but more so, we are standing for you, Lord, for your will, your rule, for your reign here. Lord, I pray that we would be this generation that believes, like our sister Deborah is saying, that, Lord, we would be ones who look to you first, who seek you first. Lord, who are not encumbered by our sin, but instead have a boldness from the Holy Spirit. That, Lord, we speak as you give us utterance, that we bind and loose and that we open and close doors. I thank you, Lord, that when those around us are fearful, we're there to encourage, we're there to to exhort, we're there, Father, to speak a good word in due season. Lord, I pray that the generation now, today, Lord Jesus, would stand through difficult times declaring how good you are. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.